Spider plants are beautiful house plants usually grown as indoor plants as they purify the air indoors and are plants that do well in low light areas. They can also be grown outdoors out of direct sunlight and kept in a semi shaded area where it can continue to grow well. So for these plants to propagate and give out new pups they need more bright light conditions and here are our spider plants that are flowering for the first time and we got a lot of flowers on these plants these flowers form out of a new stalk that is growing from the middle of the spider plant and once these flowers are done blooming then they start to produce small tiny pups or small plants that we can propagate and transfer into containers. So at the end of these stalks you can see flowers and also tiny little spider plants. So these plants once they grow a little bigger they start to develop roots on them. And there are two ways in which you can propagate these. We can either place these stalks directly into the soil and let those roots develop into the new soil before we detach them from the main stalk or we can just detach them from the main stalk, let them sit in a bowl or a glass of water for a few days for the roots to develop well before transferring it into a new container. So we've had this spider plant with us for a couple of years and this is the first time it's developing these pups and we haven't yet transferred them into a new container. So once we transfer we will have a lot of new spider plants that we can grow at home. So since this is a tropical plant it prefers warm weather conditions but it needs to be placed in a spot that is out of direct sunlight. If it is placed in a spot with too much of direct sunlight, this plant can burn and the plant can die completely. At the same time, it also needs some light to grow. So make sure that it is not placed in a spot where it is too dark or doesn't receive enough light for the plant to grow. So it needs medium light to grow and it can grow indoors very beautifully and it's also an air purifying plant and it removes a lot of toxins from the air. So it's a beautiful house plant or an indoor plant that we can place indoors. So we have one in our indoor living space and also one in the bedroom. So while we were on vacation for a few weeks, these plants were placed outside in a spot and which was close to our fish pond and there were some snails or slugs that got into this plant and damaged these. So you can see a lot of bitten off or chewed off leaves and it has also gotten a little sunburnt due to the extra direct sunlight that it has received when we were not taking care of it so spider plants really don't need the direct sunlight which will burn these plants as you can see that these leaves have turned black and it has gotten burnt so it's an ideal house plant and even if you are away on vacation for a few days you can leave them indoors by just watering them just before you leave if the vacation is for just a week or 10 days these plants can do very well indoors without too much of water just make sure you place them in a spot that receives bright indirect light in case of any house plant including the spider plant or the pothos or philodendrons it is essential to bring them outside and keep them in a space out of direct sunlight outdoors for a few days once every two or three weeks so that it can get more light and fresh air for it to 
grow well and develop a bigger root system and grow more leaves so when it is placed constantly for a long period of time indoors you might not see it growing very fast the growth rate of the plants are usually slow when they are kept indoors constantly so these plants were brought outside a couple of months back and then we left it there in a semi shaded area for some time and that is when we started to see these flowers start to form and new pups begin to grow when it was indoors constantly for more than 6 months at a time we didn't see too much of growth and when i saw a lot of people sharing videos and pictures of spider plant pups i wondered why my plant didn't have any new growth or pups but after it has been placed outside in this semi shaded area it has grown well and it has given out a lot of new plants i hope you enjoyed today's video and please don't forget to support us thanks for watching fresh from my garden